Um, okay, so we're running a little long, but you brought in some interesting hardware. So let's spend like five minutes just kind of taking a look real quick at some of the cool things that you brought in, Mateo. Great. You got there. Thanks, Ron. So I've sorry, uh, Jason, I've brought two <laughs> wonderful welcome. devices. <laughs> <laughs> so they're both by Chinese OEMs, uh, device manufacturers. This is the first Huawei device sold under the Honor brand in the US. So I was recently at the Honor product launch for Europe of the Honor 5X, which is also available in the US for $199. And it's a mid-range smartphone running Emui, which is a Huawei's version of Android based on Android 5.1. And a lot of the hardware components are very similar to the higher end Honor 7. So you have very nice full high definition screen, which is a 5.5 inch unit. So it's uh, not a full on phablet, but getting there. Mm -hmm. It's full high definition, great viewing angles. It's a full metal body. It has a 13 megapixel camera on the back, five megapixel pixel selfie camera and the fingerprint scanner on the back is very similar to the one on the Nexus 6P and the uh, Nexus 5X so it's very very fast oh, okay. the difference being that working with Samsung software not only is it fast at unlocking it can be used for gestures so by swiping down on the, uh -oh. on the sensor you bring down your notification panel so okay. it's difficult to show this on the two sides. But when I swipe down on the sensor, it will bring down my notification panel. Oh, if I swipe up, it will close the notification panel. And if I do it again, it should open my multitasking. Hmm. And then in the web browser, I can use left and right to browse back and forward. So mm -hmm. it's more than the Nexus experience. Huawei have integrated that tightly with the rest of the operating system. The actions, like, have you gotten used to using the actions? I'm not sure how much I'd really use those, to be honest. You know the notification I mean? panel, when using the phone one-handed, is very useful. So rather than taking the phone out and then having to use the other hand to pull down your notification yeah, right. drawer, you can just do it with the one hand on the fingerprint sensor. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. useful because it's okay. one of the most used things I have on Android, is those notifications. Sure. Uh, this is powered by a Qualcomm chipset as well. It's the Snapdragon 616. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, very powerful, efficient, has a great battery life, so it gets me through a day. Do, 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 do. Sorry, thumbing my yeah. way through it. <laughs> uh, okay, it's not a bad looking display. And uh, it comes with a screen protector already on it. I've, I oh. haven't actually taken it off. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can kind of see here. On. I'll see if I can get the light to kind of glance uh, off it a little bit. But even, there. even with that on it, it's, the screen is lovely. Very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. So for consuming media, nice. for using it as a camera, it's good. And, and this is how much again? 200 you it's said? It's $199 okay. uh, here in the U.S. Uh, prices vary in Europe, but it bounces around £189 to 169 pounds depending on where you purchase it from interesting and overall for the price you're getting a lot of smartphone it's difficult to beat in that price. yeah i mean that you always kind of have to have to point that out when you're talking about you know, like a 200 dollars unlocked it just but it just goes to show you how much how much that low price gets you nowadays like it, you, it doesn't give you this tiny little piece of plastic that you know yeah. you you don't care about you know what i mean like it actually feels like a nice device it's got a nice display and uh, you know reasonable specs in there so for 200 dollars, it's, it's pretty it's great also dual build. sim so it takes two sim cards and a micro sd so it's 16 gig built in mm -hmm. and it can take up to 128 gigabyte uh micro sd cards nice so great overall specs for the price and that's officially available in most western markets under the honor branding okay so that was the first of the devices I brought. Now this next one I'm very curious about. Yeah. This was so this we, one we talked about this. You can't get as easily in Western markets. You need to import it through a trusted retailer, or go to AliExpress, the Chinese equivalent of eBay and Amazon combined. Mm -hmm. So AliExpress is where I ordered the device from. It's a. It took a few few days to arrive. But it's a five-inch device, so smaller than the than the Honor device, and it has specs similar to the in terms of size to the Moto G 
third generation. So it's a 720p 5-inch screen. The difference being that this is running a Snapdragon 16, 616 processor, so the same processor as in the Honor 5X. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very power-efficient chipset, uh, but they've put a massive 4,100 milliamp hour battery in the back of it. So 720p screen, Snapdragon 616, and the big battery overall gives me two to three days battery life. Dang. And that's saying a lot. That's awesome. Yeah. The downside is that out of the box, there are no Google services whatsoever on the right. Xiaomi device. Mm -hmm. There are relatively simple instructions on various forums on how to add those. But for the price, which I believe is around about $160, you're getting a lot of smartphone again. 13 megapixel camera, uh, 16 gigabytes of storage built in, expandable with micro SD, dual SIM. Can take a look at that. And it's finished very, very well. Yeah, it's it got has a nice a, finish to it. It feels nice. Ooh, very premium feel. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. But and this one's how much again? That was, a, but I mean, once I'd paid customs yeah. and everything, it was 130 pounds. So it'll be in the same price range. About 200 bucks. About $200. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but, but you're Mate getting... Mate I got a quick question, Mateo. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Can you get that phone with a Mockadile back, backing or no? Not yet. So Mockadile <laughs> good, is Good usually, question, Ron. Uh, it's a very good question. So Mockadile <laughs> is an aftermarket questions. edition. This phone is so new, it's so hipster, <laughs> that you can't get Mo Mockadile yet. I'm surprised but, Mockadile wasn't a launch uh, option. But yeah. I know you were after Mockadile, so I brought this. Uh, Brian, if you can switch over. So this is the case to my Honor 6, <laughs> which oh is my God. real oh. leather Mockadile. <laughs> Spit take. Wow. It's, be it's beautiful. So this is real leather made to look like Mockadile. <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So it's real leather made to look like fake crocodile skin. <laughs> yes. Okay, just want to be clear on that. All right, that's good. I love <laughs> this it. This is like inception <laughs> of, of, of cases. Um, interesting. It's interesting that this is your thing. <laughs> Like, <laughs> well, just, someone in Europe has to bring this beauty to the Western markets, <laughs> and then they have to, and then they have to apologize profusely for yeah. it. He's, Sorry, he's hey, I'm he's Italian. I know fashion. <laughs> <laughs>